Part one. Serial sampler. Hey guys. Hello. Hello, Dave. <laughs> uh. Fun. <laughs> so this is Emic Two, uh, Parallax's newest product, uh, made in conjunction with Grand Idea Studios. Doctor Joe Grant. Doctor Joe Grant, and it is their simple text-to-speech module. Um, so it looks like in this setup we've got a quick start board connected via USB to your computer. But what else do we have here? All right. Uh, so as you guys know, the quick start has a 2x20 uh, header on it. And I used a Totic.com 2x20x2 uh, header adapter board. And I just soldered uh, some wires to that uh, to cr sort of create an adapter that goes to the six pins on the Emic. Okay. And what are the six pins? Okay, so basically he needs ground, and he needs five volts. So on a quick start, that would be the VIN pin, which is actually the five volts coming down the USB line. Okay. And uh, it has a serial out and a serial in. That's how it uh, talks to the propeller. Okay. Or whatever microcontroller you happen to be using. And uh, then it has a speaker uh, negative and a speaker positive pin. We're not using those here because we're using the uh, the uh, headphone jack there. Handy. And that's plugged right into our mixer. Uh, as you heard, he can talk to us uh, directly here uh, during recording. <laughs> and uh, here's an interesting thing. Creepy. We're going to uh, do something that we're calling serial sampling today, uh, using the serial commands from the computer to say something and record it and then use it for something. Excellent. So we can have them say whatever the heck we want. And uh, we already did. Well, kind of. We're doing a little bit of time traveling here. You guys heard him say what this part was earlier. We have not actually recorded that. We're going to record it now. And then use it. And then use it in the past. So that you can see it in the future. Toy maker time traveling. It's always <laughs> great. So what I'm basically going to do here is I'm going to type in what I want him to say. And that's just part one, serial, sampler. And then we'll get a nice recording of it. Part one, serial sampler. And we'll snip that out of the recording that we're making right now, and we'll use it on the title. Very cool. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys the source code on this. You can see it's very, very simple. Mm -hmm. It just uses the parallax serial terminal object and the full duplex serial object, and uh, it pay takes the packet uh, from whatever the computer is typing and just hands it off to Emic. It uh, has a little bit of uh, Emic specific stuff in there. I kept it as basic as possible, but I did add the little volume thing. You see oh. where it says send V, send zero, send uh, eight. Yeah. That sets the volume of his voice, and I wanted to include just one um, special command so you guys can see one way of sending those. There's actually like eight different ways to, to do everything with this little guy, and we'll be covering some of them in our, uh, our next three parts. Cool. All right, let's get on to part two. Part two, numbers station. Okay, so for this one, Addie's gone remote. Let's see if we've got her. Addie, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so basically what's going on here is that Addie is on the other side of the house at her ham shack, and uh, she's got Emic, and uh, you can see from her eyes here, and you can see uh, from mine over here, and she's going to uh, see if she can transmit... Uh, Emic over uh, 10 meters in the beacon section of the band. So, are you ready to transmit, Addy? Are you ready to transmit, Addy? Yeah, but just double checking 28.3 or 28.4. The frequency is going to be 28.3. Let me adjust uh, the the receiver up here. Uh, 
Okay, the receiver is uh, on 28.3 megahertz. We're ready to receive your transmission. I'd call that a successful test. All right, so let's get on to our next hack. Part three, eight bit vocalist. Okay, so it looks like we have a demo board here. Yeah, uh, this is uh. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of the uh, viewers have these. Uh, this is where a lot of people get their start on the uh, like me the propeller uh, before the quick start days. Yep. Yes, this is quite more expensive. Um, so the reason why I use this board instead of the quick start is because it has this headphone port on it that has a little amplifier on it. Okay. Uh, and the reason why we wanted to do that is because we're running a piece of software in one of the cogs called SIDCOG, and what SIDCOG does is emulate a, uh, a, uh... SID uh, chip. Yeah. From the Commodore 64. Yes. And that's its sound synthesis chip, correct? Yep. Huzzah! So, anybody who grew up in the, uh, on those computers absolutely just loves that sound. And chippy tunes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, chip tunes, I mean, they grew up on those and the NES and the Atari, and, you know, those are the three big players, and, uh, SID is still being played with today. Uh, as evident, you know, I right. have it uh, emulated in software here. So I noticed that you've hooked up both to the headphone port on the demo board as well as the headphone port of the Emic. Emic. So yeah. you're getting like stereo action. Yes. Um, we're recording cool. both of them into their own audio track here. Okay. Uh, basically, the idea here is that we wanted to have Sid Cog playing our music. Mm -hmm. It has three voices. One of them is playing the drums. One of them is playing the harmony, and one of them is playing a melody. Okay. And then Emic is going to sing along with this. So it's <laughs> all being generated in real time. Okay. The music and the voice, it's all being generated by this little tiny piece of hardware right here. Cool. Very which cool. is, you know, absolutely <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I mean, it fires off every geek uh, nerve in my body just to know that I can do this. It's so cool. cool. All right. Uh, so, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, for wiring it up, it was just wiring the serial in and out pins to two pins on the prop. Okay. And uh, hooking it up to the uh, ground and power, and that was it. Cool. Simple. So, yeah, I'll show the code here as we're talking. Okay. And uh, let's uh, let's see what it sounds like. Let's turn it on here. So that's Emic in C major. 
And we've got some filter action going on on the Sid. And uh, there's random generation going on for the melody. And uh, there's some randomization going on for which phrase Emic sings for each verse. That's very cool. So I was able to do that in one sitting, but, you know, disclaimer, I've used the sit quite a bit before, so I had sort of a leg up. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was able to do this in an evening of hacking, so, you know, it's definitely achievable, and I just gave you guys the code, so, you know, go out there and do it. Cool. Part 4, IOC Reader. Okay, so uh, our uh, last hack for today is uh, actually by, mostly by Roy Eltham. Mm -hmm. He did the DHCP driver and figured out how to use the strings module. And he got uh, uh, a prop 2 to log into IRC uh, uh, with the, uh, the spinneret board. <laughs> and uh, read out what was being said in our IRC by Emic. Yeah. And, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, if that's not cool, I don't know what is. <laughs> so uh, this is probably going to be improved greatly in the future, but uh, Roy's kind enough to uh, put up his code for this for everybody to download, which is just great. Uh, we appreciate that, Roy. I think it sounds... <laughs> and uh, let's let's see. I'm gonna type in a room here too. Okay, guys, we more like a fine port. are recording. or whiskey. Mixer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we are recording. Yeah. You're on TV. Mixer, you're on TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we have a what spinneret. Connected yeah, to... it's a it's a spinneret board, and there's a power board connected to that, and I happen to have the uh, a prop plug plugged into it, so I can program it. Okay. And then I've got an adapter board that I built that's basically mapping the power and serial pins over to the Emic. We've covered that basic idea a couple times now. Okay. And then the Emic two itself. Cool. So it's a it's a rather complicated little prototype, and I doubt many people will you know have the the. Uh, the hardcore, <laughs> um, the the hardcore nature to actually do something like this, but you know, that that's how we roll. And mix distracting me. Yeah, well. Pete live as in now. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason. So, um, these guys are uh, all of course misbehaving because they know they're on TV. John Dazzle, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> so. John Dazzle will now regale us. We've got uh, Twadic yes, and uh, John, John Dowdell and Rivas. Yeah, it looks like Rivas uh, waited John a minute. Dazzle he was going to go out the door. Childhood. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, Silly this is a bunch. typical day in the Toymaker's IRC. These yep. guys causing trouble, <laughs> per as usual. Yep. So, anyway, we thought we'd show this off. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to do something like this, there will be a code. Uh, the code will be linked in the video description, and I'm sure it's going up on the Emic Two website too. Cool. All right, we're done. Done. Awesome. See ya. This is pretty neat. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at tymkrs.